enhanced safety selector comes to your house, it's not going to look all messy like this. And if you saw my other video, you can see that one's missing and it's already installed on the rifle. It's going to come together like this and it looks really cool. The packaging is amazing. The box that even came with the mag release that I already did a video on is well thought out. It's attractive. It looks great. It's got QR codes, pictures description, all that good stuff. This comes with one, but the U.S. Customs deemed it necessary that I didn't receive it. Here we are. Uh, this is designed to be broken. It was not designed to come broken. U.S. Customs did that. So to install this, you're going to break this right in half, just like that. This says R for right, and this one's got an L for left. I already did the left side. I did already take off my selector switch, and there is the pin that goes with it. That is very important. Keep that pin, unless you want to try to go find another one somewhere. The cool thing about this is if you flip it around, you'll see that there's a channel into the 3D printed section. You're like, what the heck? Well, then you flip it over, there's a hole in the top. We're going to put that pin in there, and you should lube this first. So that pin's going to get pushed down into there. You're going to start the feed into the safety selector. And then as it is ready to go on, you're going to place that on there and drive it in while holding it, acting as an installation guide. I'm going to take my punch, put that down into there. It's going to make contact with safety selector. There it goes. All right. Make sure it's lined up. I broke the other one, but upon closer inspection, it was broken from customs. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. All right. So you want to take care not to drive it in too far, which I doubt I'm doing because I'm baby tapping this thing. Prep that. So when it's time, oh, it's right there. So when it's time to go onto the actual barrel here, it goes a lot easier and you don't have to fish for alignment. All right. So it's basically right where it needs to be. I'm going to move all these extra parts out of the way. The pin is up and down here. Well, it goes in here. So we need to make sure it's up and down. So you're going to flip it over, place that on there, and hold it. Okay. So it's a slight juggling act. I'm going to push down, hold, tap. So the only, the only thing I, man, I can't even say I don't like it. It's, I can't see how far into that the pin is gone. That's all. Well, it's not coming off, so clearly it's going in. I'm going to hold it down. Smack it a few more times. Oh, okay, so the pin wasn't all the way in. That, you know, that's there so we don't mar these up. I've already marred up the other one. Um, right here, if you can even see it, but <laughs> it's not that big of a deal to me. As you can tell, I spray paint like everything. I was impatient. I did not wait long enough and I didn't drive the pin in far enough. But also, if you can see, you may not be able to see, my pin is, it's a 1 uh, Look at the directions, make sure you're following the directions, but my pin's starting to open because it's one of those creased cotter pins. It's starting to push it open just a hair, so I don't really want to keep it opening. So I'm gonna use a slightly larger punt. The other thing you can do if you don't want this scratched up and you end up having to do it like this because you're impatient like me, um, is you can put tape over it. Painter's tape works great for my mistakes. <laughs> Alright, slightly different view. As you can see, the pin is right here, barely sticking out. So I'm going to get about a couple more taps. I, I still recommend using this guide. Um, it's going to save you some headache with damaging your product. Um, let me see if I can line it back up. There we go. Um, don't damage your product unless you absolutely can't avoid it. But um, like I said though, my pin was pushing it open and I didn't want that. So you're going to hold the guide on, insert the punch, a couple more taps. It should be about, yeah, see I damaged my pin and, and that's okay. I don't care about what it looks like. Some of you do. Yeah, I damaged my pin just a little bit. So I think I can go back to my small punch now. Now it is fully functioning as you can see here. So now that we have the lever installed, you can see now that actuation of the lever is super easy. It definitely makes it more ergonomic. So I'm right-handed. I've got the thumb wrapped around. 
I can actuate the thumb safety all the way because it is now a thumb safety much easier if I shoot right-handed again but I choose to keep my hand over here I can and I'm gonna duplicate the action here I can do a kind of a modif modified thumb rest here against the safety lever obviously on that side and then when it's time to go back to safe it's just a flick and it's really easy to get it on and off safe so really great product I really like this thing I really want to thank Made Rifle for sending this product out along with the mag release from my previous video and I think you guys should go give them a, a check like check them out man they're pretty awesome so keep in mind their prices on their website are in Canadian dollars and because they're further north and this is how science and and currency works it costs more so do the conversion back to a southern price back to an American price um, if you're in the States I think you're gonna find that the price is very appealing and I think you're gonna find that the price is right on par with other companies and other types of safety levers and mag releases and things like that so again thank you to Made Rifle y'all have a wonderful day stay tactical